The White House says First Lady Melania Trump underwent a surgical procedure at Walter Reed Monday for a benign kidney condition. Back at home, the city of West Columbia has set up a chicken hotline to report foul odors that are coming from a nearby plant. We'll have more on this story on the ABC Columbia mobile app. Plus, police in North Carolina say they are still investigating this incident of an officer choking a man outside of a Waffle House. And Chadwick Bozeman, the man behind the Black Panther mask, gave a stirring graduation speech at his alma mater, Howard University, over the weekend, ending his words of wisdom with the iconic Wakanda salute. Hello, and thank you for joining me from Maine and Gervais. I'm Kimberly Davis. I hope that you're well this Tuesday. Happy birthday. If you're celebrating today, you share the day with former White House Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. Those trending headlines, celebrity birthdays, and your moment in history are all up next today, May 15th. First Lady Melania Trump is recovering in the hospital after undergoing surgery to treat a benign kidney condition. The announcement came as a surprise Monday amid word she'll likely remain hospitalized for the rest of the week. ABC's Janae Norman is in Washington with more. First Lady Melania Trump is recovering at Walter Reed Medical Center after being treated for a benign kidney condition. On Monday, President Trump boarded Marine One heading to visit her, ignoring questions from reporters. The president wasn't by his wife's side as doctors performed an embolization, a procedure to plug up a blood vessel to stop bleeding. A senior administration official tells ABC News he spoke with her beforehand and with her doctors immediately after. I'm pleased to report the procedure was a success and Melania is already on the mend. The surprise announcement came with few details and word Mrs. Trump will likely remain in the hospital for the rest of the week. After this type of procedure, we watch for bleeding, we monitor kidney function, and we make sure pain control is adequate. If she does stay in the hospital a full five days, we've learned that that will be the longest first lady hospital stay since Nancy Reagan. It's still unclear exactly what the first lady's condition is, and it also remains unclear why President Trump wasn't at the hospital for her procedure. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. Welcome back. A police officer is on administrative leave after video of him choking a young man at a North Carolina Waffle House was released. Now the town's mayor and some residents are speaking out in support of the officer. Nate Belt has the video of the incident. Mayor AJ Connor is posting a video to Facebook on Friday backing the police department saying the officer Frank Moss was just doing his job. We must understand that this young man had broke the law. He was there, he started a fight, and the officer's job is to make an arrest. Others in town who I spoke with that wish to remain off camera feel Moss used excessive force. Daisy Madrid has known Moss for 10 years. I couldn't believe it. A really good person, him and his wife, they're, they're really good people. For now, she agrees with the mayor that Moss was doing his job, but looks forward to seeing the whole video released. I would like to see it. Um, so everybody will be clear, you know, everybody will be out there and be like, okay, this is what happened. Because that little clip only shows a certain part, but it doesn't just show the background of why did it start it. Attorneys for Anthony Wall, the one grabbed in the video, requested body and dash cam video from the police as well as surveillance video from Waffle House. Mayor Connors tells me the SBI and FBI are both involved in the ongoing investigation of this case. My hands was in the air. I uh, wasn't resisting, um, wasn't trying to at all. His body weight, I remember being on me. I'm um, 150, he's probably give or take 300 some pounds, um, way stronger than me. Um, at that point, when my hands were in the air, all he had to really do is take my hands, put me in handcuffs. Uh, I was not trying to fight him at all. I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, this is your time. 
<laughs> the king of Wakanda gave some words of wisdom to the graduating class of Howard University this weekend. 40-year-old Chadwick Boseman graduated in 2000 from the historically black university in Washington, D.C. He urged students to pursue life with passion and fight for justice and equality. The man behind the Black Panther mask crossed his fists before a cheering crowd and ended his speech with Howard forever. I love you, Howard. Howard forever. You can now experience the worldwide phenomenon that is Black Panther after completely crushing it in theaters. The Marvel superhero movie is now available for viewing on the small screen. On this day in 1928, the Walt Disney cartoon character Mickey Mouse made his debut in the silent animated short Plain Crazy. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. She's 81. Football Hall of Famer Emmett Smith is 49 and Walking Dead actress Alexandra Beckenrich is 36. Well, that's our time for today. You've been watching What's Trending. The news continues online at abccolumbia.com, on our mobile app, and on the news at 6 and 11. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. Have a terrific Tuesday and thanks for watching. New tonight, America's hooked on Roseanne, but Roseanne's hooked on something else. Let's talk. I found these hidden all over the house. That's a lot of bills, Dan. I think you might have a problem. New Roseanne, tonight on ABC.